I, I feel like we're living, there's kind of this epidemic of busyness and, and distraction. We're always on. We feel like we can never disconnect. America has this growing problem that's kind of buried on the surface of mental health. George Mason as a university has been uh, invested in well-being related initiatives for some time now and has recently made what we think is a pretty special move and literally written in well-being as a key strategic goal for the university to become the country's first well-being university. We really get to make a statement to the world that this is who we want to be. It's a 10-year initiative to incorporate well-being into the whole university. This is powerful stuff because it's all actionable. Individuals can make certain decisions in their daily actions to either increase their well-being or decrease it. So little by little, I think we've been able to put some detail into what it is uh, to, to have a good, positive, happy life. And now the question is, how do you take those, those elements and build them into the work of a university like ours? The Center for the Advancement of Wellbeing has been a great leader in moving this work forward. We made available Gallup StrengthsFinder to students to help them make better decisions in choosing academic majors, career paths, and also in their personal lives. We have faculty who've participated from across the institution, from psychology to philosophy, and our university life group has been very much a participant in this. We provided all of our incoming students with a book called How Full Is Your Bucket by Tom Rath. And he came and spoke with all incoming students. To a large degree, our lives are the sum of those little interactions we have with other people, but yet it's so easy to take the small exchanges for granted. Each of us has an individual focus and a different purpose at the university. Here's something that really brings us together. We actually did a mindfulness, acceptance, and commitment intervention with some of our teams here on campus. We have community bonding activities centered around mindfulness, which is, in essence, experiencing all that life has to offer. Instead of trying to be happy, cultivate an attitude of openness and curiosity in the present moment. Every single moment of your life, you'll grow, you'll discover new things, and every once in a while discover something that will lead to happiness on the way of being curious. The more time you spend pursuing meaning for yourself and for other people in your community, the more well-being you get in parallel. So just simply showing that somebody has a diploma is not going to be the currency uh, of the future. It's going to be, did that diploma significantly increase my likelihood of having a great job and a great life. That may be the new metric against which universities are measured. What George Mason is doing from a well-being standpoint can create a new model that sets the bar, not only for the rest of the country, but maybe even for the way people think about institutions of higher education all over the world. Our comprehensive commitment to well-being at Mason has a ripple effect. Our graduates will be equipped to facilitate the well-being in others. This model can potentially be replicated at many other universities around the world, impacting millions of people. I find that it has been so important to me, and it has shaped um, my whole George Mason experience and how I will live my life thus far.